Rebuilding Together Tampa Bay is a nonprofit agency that provides services to low-income homeowners. We help, uh, we provide repairs and rehab to homeowners that in need. We are able to reach out to our network base. We work with um, probably the most dynamic of, of um, general contractors. We really do work with the cream of the crop in the, in the work that we do. We interview the homeowner and we understand what their needs and desires and the personality that they come with. Then we, through the list of contractors that we have, we try to match that personality up with that contractor where there will be a good fit. Well, when Billy Gunther brought this uh, project to us and brought us the story of the Barrow family, um, um, it was, I mean, an immediate connect for us and we knew this is a family that we could definitely help and we not only could we help, we wanted to help. They were in need of a um, uh, safer environment for their grandchildren and we were able to provide that through financial support from corporations, national and locally, and then with the uh, generosity of many in-kind um, general contractors and, and, and trades. We had uh, an identified family, um, a, a scope that was pretty much lined up and it needed uh, coordination. Once we determine the scope of work that needs to be done in a home, then we will go to that contractor and we will work very closely with him, lining up his suppliers if he needs help there, lining up the vendors that he needs, the tradespeople. Even though he's head of the project, he knows he can come to the Rebuilding Together Tampa Bay and get any kind of support or help that he needs if there's a shortfall. You have an incredible leader to um, Tom Antonini who managed the project for almost three months. Overall, 116 some thousand dollars was allocated to this project through in-kind and cash donations. Tom came to visit and look at the site and see what was needed and um, First thing he did is he told me to quit working. Um, he brought electricians in, they looked at the wiring in the house, he brought plumbers, HVAC. We got a great players like the Hillsborough County Building Department who helped to expedite the uh, permitting process and the inspections as we went into the project. Uh, Sue Sullivan and the Sullivan Group played a big part in organizing the overall effort not only from a grassroots position, but using the internet to get the word out. We had donations that come as far as New York. They just found out about my needs and just poured in, poured in here like you wouldn't believe. We have a lot of uh, trade um, uh, professionals who came in and trying to do their best to provide the, the services and to complete um, whatever is needed in, um, in the house. When we first were brought into the facility, it was obvious that it was going to require a lot more than just remodeling a bathroom. Once we walked the site, we realized the condition of the facility was a health and safety issue, so it required a magnitude of work other than just the remodeling of the bathroom. What we were looking at was taking on a massive effort to reconstruct this facility from the ground up. Even though it was an existing structure, basically everything within the facility required an upgrade. This family was unique and, and special, especially for Mr. Barrow who helped every day in that house. He finished working uh, his regular job, stopped by the house, keep working and during weekends do his work. So it was a um... It was uh, quite an experience to just see these strangers, basically strangers, come together and work together. Um, and some of them tradesmen, you know. I, I had, uh, I think the one day they were pulling wires, I had the owners of three electrical companies here all working together, laughing, making jokes. The mechanical contractor, CC Services of Tampa Bay, as well as the plumbing, which was Boyt Plumbing, and the electrical, Swilly Electric and Lady Electric, were the front runners and really the true heroes of this project. Coming to the need of this family, their effort consumed massive amount of man hours, as well as thousands of dollars of their own effort and their own money injected into this community effort. So when it's all said and done, the homeowner is very happy with what's done. The volunteer group has got a good feeling when they walk off that project and feel like they've really accomplished something. And the contractor, who's really the guy that heads this whole thing up and makes it all happen, 
really gets a great feeling and a sense of accomplishment that he's really done something very, very beneficial for himself, for the community, and for that family. And again, it establishes relationships that some of these contractors establish with people and, and, and companies that's long term for them in the end. And um, at the end of the day, when, when we um, uh, turn the keys back over to the Barrow family, all that went into it, all the uh, coordination effort was so worth it. Every time we see something like that, we feel that we have accomplished our mission, which is helping the family. Walking your family through, the family that you're working with, through, that, um, through their new remodeled home or, that, or show them where this new window just went in and how this is going to work or um, the, sometimes just a fresh coat of paint in a room can have a huge impact on someone's life. Um, we, are, um, we are about making a difference in their lives. We were able to literally make magic happen for this, this family, rebuild an entire home. And it all happened within six weeks, and that itself is a miracle.